second she's gonna be here she's so fucking pretty oh my god she's the kind of pretty people just walk up to her and like give her shit you know it's like that anyway i just moved in with her so but it's only been two days and it's kind of like already why is there pot all over my desk you know jesus christ so ocd and i'm like it's not pot all over your desk it's a nug that i left as a suggestion for you to Please smoke it, you know? Like, she's just wound tight. She has a full-time fucking job. She pays her own rent. Who the fuck pays their own rent at 23 in Santa Monica, no less? Like, it's fucking crazy. Meanwhile, I'm 31. I don't even have a job. Because technically, I don't qualify for anything. Well, anything that I would be willing to do. Because, like, let's face it, I could go get a job at CVS or fucking Taco Bell. I'm not going to make a fucking chalupa, OK? I'm not fucking, there you go, 273. Like, fuck that shit. No fucking way. But it's fine. This is all, this is honestly just the petty bullshit that goes along with family, with siblings especially. But the real shit is like, you know, she's, she's at least here. Because, you know, because my mom is, is, she peaced out on us. She, uh, like, peaced out. Like, she's, she's not with us anymore. So. Yeah, my dad is really just absent. He's, he's, he's just sad. He's a really sad man. I get it. I do. I, I was really sad, too. I was so, well, I was so sad that I landed myself in a mental institution for a couple of days. Listen, I'd love to keep chatting with you, but I've got to attend to other customers. Totally, yeah. No, yeah, do your thing. It's a great bar. This is from the uh, gentleman down at the end of the bar. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Whoa. Fucking shit. Okay, wait. Maybe just set me down. Maybe just set me down. Maybe just set me down. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, I had to pee. You guys gonna wrap it up? Dude, can you I, uh, leave? I got coke in my car. Oh, yeah. Then work again. <laughs> I probably should pretend. Oh, fuck. I'm not about to text. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, right, well, I don't know. Jesus, sister. It's not bad. Right. Charlie, you're early. Yeah. Guys, this is my sister I was telling you about. Anna, this is Kyle. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. You too. And this is... I am so sorry. Remind me your name again. Really? Johnny. Johnny. Hi. Right. You too. <laughs> How have you ever met before? I blame Kyle. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> and then you know Ivana. Hi. Yes, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm glad you're good. Thank you. Yeah, you look you look great since the braces came off. It's like yeah, recently. Yeah, it's good. It looks lovely. Yeah. Thank you. So who's your friend? This is. Hi, my name's Joe. Hi. Joe. Joe. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Joe. This is Joe. Joe. This is everybody. How are you? Ew. You guys know this girl? She was literally just like. Hey, I got three shots here, buddy. Oh, awesome. Don't mind him. He's a little. You know that guy. Yeah, he's my roommate. He's really a nice guy. Once you get to know him. Can't. <laughs> cool. Well, this is super steamy. 
Uh, so I'm gonna leave you to it and get out of your hair. It was a pleasure to meet you, Jeremy. Johnny. Johnny. Really, really nice to, and you have a shot here, which is <laughs> not many get there. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. And I'll see you at home. So sorry, one second. It's okay. In a wait, in a wait, 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 wait. I'm going back. I'll meet you in the car. Put on the blinkers. Yep. I'll see you. Uh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, I know that I know that you hate it when I'm like, are you okay all the time? But seriously, are you okay? How many drinks have you had? Lipstick. I had one drink. I had I'm fine, Claire. Seriously, you gotta stop with this whole I'm the big sister. I got it handled. Promise me that you will text me as soon as you get to my house safely. Okay, I will promise you that if you promise me that you will stop worrying about me and checking in on me every five minutes, please, for the love of God. All right, fine. I love you. I love you. Text me. I will. Claire? Claire? Hello, this is Charlie. I'm not here. You know what to do. Hey, Dad, it's me. Um, I was just calling to say what's up. Just made me hear your voice. Uh, this late. I'm sorry. I fuck. I didn't mean to wake you up. It was a mistake. Um, but when you get this in the morning, uh, call me, please. You slept with him? Come on, it's not like we're 12. I know, but that's like, you don't do that. Well, maybe I'm letting a little loose. Is that okay with you, Fruchi? I mean, who am I to judge? I'm just saying, it's very unlike you. It just felt natural, okay? I don't know. Anyways, how'd it go with you in prison break? Okay, fuck you. He does not look like he just got out of prison. Okay. But you are still going to your classes, right? We have a deal. First of all, AA is not a class. And just so you know, I wasn't even that drunk last night. And he gave, like, great head and just, like, oh, so good. Hey, Fruit, I told you a million times I am happy to have you here, but you have got to clean up after yourself. I was going to do that this morning. Okay. Anyway, I am going over to Johnny's on Thursday night. He's cooking me dinner. Is he, like... A serious boyfriend now? It's just dinner and sex. Uh, but he's cooking you dinner. That's like really intense and not in the good way. It's just food, Anna. People have to eat. Hey, by the way, Dad seriously hasn't been answering any of my phone calls. Do you know why? Uh, no. No idea, but he did give me some money to cover your expenses till you're back on your feet. What? Why wouldn't he just give me the money? Okay, fine. But why would he be sending me really sweet emails? And not even returning my phone calls. Oh, you checked my emails? Okay, so you're gonna get mad at that. I mean, it's just that you're staying here. Okay, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I checked your emails. God, I just, I had a feeling that he was communicating with you and not me, and he was. Well, you're not always the easiest person to communicate with. I'm sorry, that's really fucked up. Look, I don't appreciate you speaking on my behalf. It's not like I want to be your messenger. Oh my God, you so do. You no. so want to be the messenger because you think it helps, but it doesn't. Okay, I'm sorry, and I am running late to work, so I will just, I'll see you here when I get back. I am aware that I will be here when you get back from work, okay? Just so you know, I have really important things to do today. Okay, great. It's called masturbating in your bed again. Fucking all over those sheets.
Brad. Yeah, me and Brad met at a bar last night and uh, slept together. And now he's here. Sound like you guys, right? <laughs> Hey, be careful. I'm about to do a line right off the movie. Oh, Johnny. Hey, going in, Oh, I can't. I was gonna go have some frozen yogurt with my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Bunny, it's not the right thing. You know you love it. Oh, oh bat mouse. Oh, you are such a little goose monster. Wait, I thought you said I was an eggnog latte. Oh, yeah, bunny bear. That's right. I'm a jackrabbit. Make the bunny noise. Okay, let's both be bunny. All right, Hey, I'm Johnny's roommate, Art. Can I help you? You know what we're doing here? Oh my god, you're the fucking douchebag from the bar. Hmm. Do you know why we're here? Like, is this an intervention? Can I get a Jack and Coke, please? Doors on the rocks. Thank hey you. Hey, guys. <laughs> what are we talking about? Well, I'll, I'll just dive right in. I don't know why you uh, invited this guy, but whatever. Um, I don't have a problem. I really do appreciate that you're concerned about me. It's, but excuse me. I feel like my bottle of champagne, please. Thank you. Would you get a job promotion or something? Relax. We'll get there. We'll get to it. <laughs> Calm down. No rush. Wait, are you? Are you guys trying to set us up? No. <laughs> no. Oh my God. No. You guys are the worst cupids ever. Hey oh. guys, um, actually, this is about us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're engaged. Guys. <laughs> 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 We know it, it, it seems fast, but it feels right. Fast wouldn't wouldn't be an accurate right. description. What has it been like three three-ish months? Oh, it's been seven months. Yeah, seven months. <laughs> okay, let me let me try this again. We're getting married! And we want you two to be our best people. Yeah. Like my maid of honor. And my best man. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. 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 I just need to process this. I just need to. So you you're you're serious. Anna. You're serious, you are, you are. I need to go to the bathroom. What else is going on, man? You want to marry her? Yeah, obviously I want to marry her, else I wouldn't have asked her to marry me. I don't get it. 
What don't you get? Everything. That's not even how you drink champagne. Look, what is wrong with you? Maybe you shouldn't drive. Well, she's gone. Champagne, guys. Awkwardly, you know. So anyway, um, goodbye, and uh, have a nice life. Oh, I will uh, see you Wednesday at AA. Oh, baby, I love you. I can't believe it's been nine months since my last drink. I'm, I'm just so excited for all of life's adventures now, you know? And I have some news I want to share with everyone. Katie and I are having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, new friend. Come on in. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you find the courage to get here today? I'm good, I'm good. Good, okay, okay. Uh, well then let's take five. All right. Hey, hey, nobody can know I'm here, okay? Aren't you curious as to why I'm here? I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about you. Right. I just got a DUI after that stupid dinner. Mm, yeah. That dinner was just the fucking worst. Johnny's been acting like such a little bitch since he met your sister. <laughs> I hear the word bunny one more time. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, hey, my, my Uber's here. I gotta go. What? So what are we gonna do? About what? About them getting married. We both know it's not right. I don't know. Maybe we can get together and come up with a plan to ruin the wedding. Okay. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. Are you? What are you Scoot doing? Over. Do you love him? Johnny? Mm hmm Of course. He's been my best friend since I can remember. I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. And that's exactly how I feel about Claire. All I'm saying is, why don't we help them? Dude, they barely know each other. All right, all right, okay, let me tell you something. My mom passed away not too long ago. 
And I know people deal with stuff in all sorts of different ways or whatever. And Claire is the kind of person that puts a Band-Aid on a Band-Aid. She's just marrying this guy to not feel the loss. Band-Aid on a Band-Aid, huh? Hey man, uh, are we still going to Vegas for Memorial Day weekend, or? Vegas? We never said we were doing that this year. We go to Vegas every year for Memorial Day weekend. Are you an idiot? I'm getting married two weeks after that. Don't you remember? Yeah, so we'll make it your bachelor party. Look, you're missing the point. I don't just want to keep partying and throwing my life away. What are you talking about? We have the best time together. Like, I really wanted to do this at a different time, but I guess it's coming out, so. I think maybe you should start looking for a new place to live. Are you crazy? What? I only pay half rent with you. Where am I supposed to go? You're supposed to grow up and figure it out. Look, I'm sorry, but I need my space. Claire and I are moving in together, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. Hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do for dinner? She didn't tell me that. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, they're clearly not thinking this through. Johnny is not ready to get married. All right, so look, I think we need to start just like getting some ideas out there. There are no bad ideas. Whatever you got, you laid on me, I read it on the board. Wait, you got a whiteboard? Oh, yeah. Well, I actually got it because I was doing this job search, but uh, that's not important right now. Um, okay, so actually, I've been doing some research. I've been watching some films. I have been reading some books. And I think that what we need to do is we need to plant the idea. How do you mean? I mean, we can't just tell them. We cannot just tell them because they will not listen to us. But if we show them what they cannot see on their own, then they will think that it's their own idea. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, it's like Inception. Like, when they go into the mind. Yeah, exactly like Inception. This is, this is exactly like Inception. We got homicide, we got sex video, pedophilia. Our best ideas were earlier. God damn it, we've been here all night, you I know? Like, I'm sick of this. too much to frame him for homicide, but I think we could frame him for something so that he goes to jail. <sighs> Just for like a couple of weeks. I'm not gonna send my best friend to jail, okay? I could hire a crack whore to show up with a child looking for Johnny and just be like, I'm sorry, this is Johnny around and I need to talk to Johnny. And oh then you'd be God. like, dude, no, remember that one time you fucked that girl when you blacked out? This is the girl that you fucked. You have a child, man. And then that's you it. You, you can't, you can't get married right now. You have a child to take care of. <sighs> Holy shit, remember that time we did heroin? Johnny's never done heroin. <laughs> or we just frame them we like could, cheating somehow. We could do that. I mean, or I could rob them. And uh, yeah, I could rob them and then Claire could see what a pussy Johnny is. What if I roofie him and he wakes up next to a hooker and I take photos and send him to Claire anonymously? Or how about we forge doctor notes saying Claire has STDs? No, no, she doesn't. Claire's so sweet. She gets checked every three months. Yeah, but I just said forge. I don't know, man. Jeez. What were you doing before? Before what? Before you were staying with your sister. I was uh, staying with my dad and my mom. Um, I'm really sorry about your mom. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely did not help. I got it. We're gonna get Claire to do some fucked up sex shit. It's gonna really screw with Johnny's mind. That's it. No, that won't break him up. That's just stupid. I mean, I would break up with someone if they were into weird sex shit and I wasn't. 
And if I didn't like that shit, which I, I really do like that shit a lot. Okay, so I, get, I, I understand. I get it. I, I... Anyway. All right, sure. Give it a shot. Weird sex shit. That's a good headline. Game on. Oh, hey Claire. I got you a present straight out of Johnny's treasure chest. Open it. Well, that was sweet of you. Does Johnny know you're giving me this? Oh, trust me. Johnny really wants you to have this. Yeah, so you might not know this, but Johnny's really into role-playing. I think you should surprise him. It'd make him really happy. That's a mask. You wear it on your face. So then I hear Johnny screaming like a little schoolgirl. So it worked. No. Next thing I hear, they're hysterically laughing. Fuck. <sighs> well, we tried. I can't believe Claire actually did that. And she didn't even mention it to me this morning. Ugh. Okay, well, what's next? What can I do? Like, what do guys hate? Gross women. Great, like how? Like talk about vagina, you know, like discharge, candida, periods, bloods and guts, like hemorrhoids down there, like really nasty shit. Johnny can't even hear the word vagina. You would think that the word vagina would actually turn a guy on. Yeah, I mean, if you're having sex with one, but if you're hearing about all the issues, that's like the, that's like the worst. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, where are you going with that iron shirt? I am going on a date. Oh. What's your name? You want to see? Sarah J. Let me see this. Seven two six nine. Okay, not bad. She's all right. Nice rack. All right, well, have fun with those. I will. I didn't really peg you for the dating type. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I just buy her one drink and then I go for the bang. Classy. And deep breath in. Work, ladies. I want you to see the inside of your vagina. Anna. Who are all these people? So these are some of my friends I invited over for this little class I'm facilitating. Okay, but I thought that you, Johnny, and I were gonna have our three musketeers time. Totally will. But Claire, come on, this is really fun. I rented yoga mats. Okay, okay. We'll just hang out, all three of us, another time. I'm gonna go change into some sports clothes. And on your exhale, releasing tension in your cervix. Oh. Or your shoulders. Oh. Or your vulva. Oh. That arm up. Great. Feel your spine. Hey, everyone. Oh. Johnny. Am I in the wrong place? Johnny, on behalf of the group, we welcome your masculinity into this feminine circle. Please join us. Please take a seat. Okay, let's roll now onto our sides. Give yourself a big, big hug and gently come to a seated position. <sighs> I'd like to commence a group meditation on all things vaginal. And in doing so, deep Excuse in our me. under- I, I think there might be some sort of misunderstanding. Oh, no, no, you're welcome here. Please, just go with the flow. Everyone came out of a vagina, John. For example, I I'm nervous about childbirth. And if any of you could tell me, does it get bigger afterwards? Benoit balls don't even stay up there anymore. They just come barreling out. That's terrifying. And yet, what a small price to pay for such a beautiful gift. Thank you, sister, for bringing that into the world. This is something you guys have to look forward to. Childbirth is gorgeous. What about discharge? Isn't discharge weird? It's intoxicating. It really is. Like... I 
I feel like mine smells like rotten eggs and spinach. Is anyone else confused about their discharge? Sometimes it's milky, and sometimes it's liquidy, and sometimes it's white, and sometimes it's yellow. It, it's kind of a tacky chunk. Tacky chunk like my mom's potato salad. Absolutely. You know, sometimes I'll be walking down a certain grocery aisle, mm -hmm. the deli, and I'll have this remembrance of a woman I slept with in college. It just, any different smell, any smell can actually come out of a vagina. I, I smell my old high school football team coming out of there, <laughs> you know? What about you, Claire? Do you have discharge problems or have you had experiences? I, I don't have that problem. Oh, <laughs> looks like Fuji isn't down with the coochie. <laughs> what have you been telling her? That it smells like roses? The patriarch is killing oh. us. Uh, let's drink our period blood. This is an ancient ritual designed to increase our power, Maria, from your womb to you. Mia, wow, so rich. There's gonna be so many regenerated stem cells. Ivy, dark and delicious, you are a berry, my friend. And Sarah, you are abundant and beautiful. Thank you for being here. Ladies, caps off. Can we do the honors? You guys have a Bordeaux, I have unsweetened crayon because I've been trying to prevent a UTI. Dude, that was amazing. You have all exceeded my expectations. Thank you. Uh, does anybody have any interest in a bowl? Oh, yes. yes. Hey, are you serious? This is disgusting, Anna. The other day with that yoga vagina stuff, why did you do that? Oh yeah, vagina yoga, that is that is a new thing that I invented that I think is gonna be all the rage. And I feel like I really understand my vagina more than I did before. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you just, you have to open yourself up, you know? Sometimes the things you do seem malicious. What? No, I'm sorry that Johnny couldn't handle basic female anatomy, Claire, but that's not really on me. Just because nobody <laughs> loves you does not mean you have to ruin it for me, Anna. I'm staying at Johnny's tonight. Just clean this mess up. What's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to you? Oh, come on. A dick such as yourself, there's got to be plenty to choose from. I'm actually just trying to think of the worst thing because there's so many. <laughs> Probably you're going to end up broken and alone like your father. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to. It's OK. But that's probably the meanest thing. Whoa. Why? I just feel like. My sister says some really mean shit to me. Well, she's family. Family's the worst. Right? Like, why do people do it? Why do they get married and start families? I don't think I've ever seen that work. Oh my god, Jeff. Huh? Who's Jeff? How did I not think of this before? Claire's ex-boyfriend. They were obsessed with each other. They were like on and off for five years. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Present them with other options. It's perfect. Yep. One whiff of that guy's armpit and she will be running back in no time. I mean, doesn't he know that she's engaged, though? I mean, it's all over Facebook and Instagram. Nope. When they broke up, he got super depressed, got off all social media, and actually kind of just stopped talking to people in general. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so he runs at this park the same time every week, 6 a.m. Maybe you could just, like, bump into him. Hey, man, what's up? Like, you're running right next to me. You're Jeff, right? Yeah? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm sorry to interrupt your run. I just wanted to tell you I went on a date with this super hot chick named Claire. Claire? Yeah, your ex-girlfriend. She couldn't stop talking about you. 
Really? What'd she say? Just like you're the, the love of her life and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just, I got really bored and I just got the check as soon as possible. Anyway, I'll get you later, man, okay? Wait, how'd you find me? Ugh. Douchey. No. Fuck no. Uh. Hello, this is Charlie. I'm not here. You know what to do. So did it work? He hasn't called yet. Weird. He seems so interested. He stopped running and just drooled a little. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, what else can we do? I don't know. What'd make you want to break up with someone? <laughs> oh my god, this is perfect. What you want, you get. And you get it good. And you get it tonight. You get it tonight. Say, uh... D TF? That's down to fuck. Down to fuck. Three of STDs. Hey, man. What are you making? Pancakes. Want some? Sure. That smells delicious. What are we making? Pancakes. You want some? Fuck yeah. All right, boys. Behave yourself, and I'll put a smiley face on them for you. Quiet. What? Nothing. Uh, talk about your delicious pancakes. It just seems so unlike her. What do you mean? I mean, I've known her for a while. I always wanted to be with someone like her. Just, she just doesn't seem like the type. Well, she is. I think you should say something then because you know her better. Sure. What are you guys talking about? Oh, just uh, how delicious these look. Right? Damn. Right? That's amazing. Sarah. Wow. Johnny. We need to talk. Johnny? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would I do that? Hey. I'm sorry, Pooch, are you, are you doing okay? What are you talking about? I heard the yelling, Claire, this morning. Anna, people get into arguments and then they get over them. You would know that if you had been with someone for more than two dates. Okay. So what happened then? I don't know. Some idiot made a profile for me on OK Date Me. What? The people are... So anyways, everything's fine. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, no problem. I just was a little bit concerned because it sounded like he was yelling some nasty stuff and you were yelling some nasty stuff and relationships can't... Jeff's calling me. Jeff, Jeff? Jeff, Jeff. Whoa, that's so weird. Hey, I was wondering, actually, uh, since I'm never gonna get married, I don't believe in that stuff, could I just try on a couple of these with you just to see what it looks like on me? Yeah, sure, that's fine. No, I don't think the princess look is really quite Oh, but you me. really must try it. It's okay. so much fun. Well, the, what do you think about mine, though? I think it's not as much fun as this one. Okay. You think of all the dance moves you could do at your wedding if you all right, something Anna, like this. All right, Anna, we're here to shop for mine. Totally. Great. Then so I found white, some white. champagne. I don't know if it's great, but it'll work. Looks pretty good to me. Hmm. I know. Um. Why are you wearing a wedding dress? Oh, just 
messing around. I mean, but it is Claire's wedding, and she is the bride. That's why we're here. So why don't you just, why don't you take it off? Yeah? Just take it off. No, take yeah, it. no problem. Yeah, I was planning plan. on that. OK. You look pretty, though. I'm sorry. I didn't know how to tell her no. That's ridiculous. I, I just, she's really no, sensitive. I know, I know. She's special, special. But thank you for of your course. Finally. For coming. No, no, and I shouldn't drink. She, she can handle it. This is actually like so this is made for you. I mean, <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, amazing, beautiful, oh, actually perfect. Wow. <laughs> you like it? It's perfect. Oh, Claire. I love it. Oh, what a clear thing. This is it. This is exactly what I've been wanting. It's classic. It's mm -hmm. simple. Maybe exactly. your thick hair. Uh, oh yeah, an updo. <laughs> um, hey, Anna. Hey, since you're the maid of honor and all, uh, how's the bachelorette coming along? Really good. Yeah? Yeah, I ordered a cum that's cake. I think you'll be really into it. It's similar to rum. Disgusting, but I'll let you try at it least out. That's uh, really oh considered. Oh my gosh, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> you love like it. An angel. Oh, oh thank my you. Gosh, I love, love it. it. Who? <gasps> Who is this? <laughs> Anna, I thought that he told you. Anna, um, this is Maria. This is Dad's new girlfriend. Why don't we get to know each other on a different day, okay? Maybe today we can focus on Claire. What do you say? Anna. 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 Yes, can I, can I speak to you, Dr. Young, please? Dr. Young is in a session. May I take a message? Hello? place to tell you. Really? It wasn't your place to tell me? What? How long has it been going on? I don't, I don't, I don't know. A few months. A few months? You guys have been hiding this from me for a few months? I mean, Jesus, I get it. I know, I'm overly sensitive. But for fuck's sake, well, you're just not going to tell me anything ever because, because you think I can't handle it? This is a fucking betrayal. No, it's not about that, but she could hear it. It's not like that. I'm so sorry. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I miss Mom, Claire. I know I did too. I'm here. <laughs> so how's Anna doing? It's been really hard. Really? Has, has she found a new job? I don't think so. I don't know what she does all day. I'm always here for you. What are you doing? Some guy you went on a date with said that you want to stop talking about me. I can't stop thinking about you either, Claire. What are you talking about? I don't even know why we broke up. We were so good together. No, no, what were you saying about the date? Jeff, I'm getting married in a few weeks. How serious can you be about marriage if you're going on dates with that guy, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. He's a redhead, muscular, kind of douchey. I don't know. Art. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Explain to me how Art found Jeff. God, Anna, do you just not want me to be happy? No. Claire, I just, I don't think that you know him. 
I'm just trying to make sure you're not doing another pushing through Claire Spectacular. What is that supposed to mean? It means this is what you do. Anytime something bad happens, you just go off and you like run a marathon, win an award. You don't sit with your pain. I don't know how you get by. Mom just died and What I about you, Anna? You just run from everything, from jobs, from family, from relationships. Like, what do you actually stick to, you know? That's not fair. I stick to family. I've just no. had a few blips in. You don't stick to anything because you're afraid that you're going to find something that actually makes you happy and you don't think you deserve that. I'm so sick of picking up your broken pieces. You were just like mom. My whole life I knew that you had your instabilities. But I thought that when I actually needed you and I needed to share something hard or special that you would actually step up to the plate and be there for me. I can, I can, I will, I'll try. Oh no, no, that is exactly what mom said. And she couldn't even stay alive for us. Of course, I miss her. I miss her so much. But I am also so angry at her. <sighs> Anyways, I heard that Ivana actually planned a bachelorette party this weekend. That you didn't do anything. Why do you even want me there? If I'm so terrible, maybe I just shouldn't go. I don't I don't think I could forgive you if you just didn't show up. I need to actually believe that you're trying. Well then I don't know what you want from me, Claire. I can't lie and pretend that this isn't a huge mistake. I love you too much to do that. Crush on Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? And it wasn't my place. Plus, you guys are so obviously right for each other. Oh, that's the sweetest shit I've ever heard. All right, Johnny, you're next. Okay. I got a good one. I slept with Ivana. Wait. Oh, what? I feel so good to get that out finally. Oh, I feel so good to get that out. <laughs> How come you never told us? Oh, I don't know, man. I, it was so long ago, and it, it's not like it meant anything. All right, Art. Your turn. Uh, I've been hanging out with Claire's sister, Anna. No way. She's one fucked up lady, dude. We're just hanging out. Like, you guys aren't sleeping together or anything? Just hanging out. I have never heard you say that before in my entire life. Jesus fucking Christ. Where were you, Anna? You really freaked me out. Dum, 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 dum. Claire is getting married. Claire is getting married. Claire is getting married. I want to remember the night when Claire was getting married. Crazy. Mm. 
Claire. Yeah. Why are you getting married? What is? Why what? are you doing this? Anna, no, not seriously, now. seriously, seriously. <laughs> I want to learn. Okay. I think that marriage is a promise you keep to each other to keep trying. Okay, but so do you think that the commitment is more real because you signed a legal yeah, document? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do because you could be with someone for twenty years. But when you're married, you're signing a legal document saying that you're going to keep trying. And I think that's different than just hanging out every day and seeing what happens. So because you sign a legal paper, you sign a paper legal document and that yeah. makes it a bigger Yeah, I think commitment. so. What would you tell yourself this, who has been married for 20 years? What would you tell her right now? Um, I would say... I think I would tell myself that no matter how hard life gets, to remember that you found someone incredibly special and that whatever life brings you to remember this feeling because it's really, really hard to find. And I think that if we remember that, then we get through anything. Why Johnny? Because Why Johnny. Why do you want to marry Johnny? Because Johnny is the sweetest, most kindest man. And I, I love myself so much more when I'm with him. Mm, but you don't know him. You, you don't, don't know, know him. him. No, you don't know him. You don't know him. I'm going to bed. is the most caring, sweetest man. And I, I love myself so much more when I am with him. I'm just gonna tell him. No, yes, I'm just gonna tell him. Claire, wait, wait. <clears throat> hey, Anna. There's really no easy way to say this, but um, Claire thinks that you should move out of the house. You know, at least until like the wedding and all that. Thanks. Um, hey, Ivana, I think that Claire has a mouth and can speak for herself. Thanks. Right, Claire? Anna, at some point we lost you yesterday, and then we found you making out with some waiter. And then when we got back to the hotel, you wanted to make some intense film documentary on why I wanted to get married. I mean, do you even remember any of this? I remember some of it. I just need some space, okay? And I know that you have all these things that you want to get together. And when Johnny and I move in together, you are so welcome to stay with us anytime you want. I just, I can't have you around right now. You know I can't stay with Dad. Claire, come on. Are you serious? I can't stay with Dad. I, I, I can't do that. It took a lot to introduce myself I had to put my heart up on the shelf I didn't know that it could be so hard That night I got home, I was all alone And left to wonder about the great unknown Oh, was it love? Or was I fooling myself? And I hope that time doesn't pass us by. Or am I fooling myself? Fooling myself? Fooling myself? You taking your pills? 
You know I hate that question. I think it's a perfectly legitimate question. I don't think it is. I can't, I can't believe you. I can't believe you. After all the years of family therapy, abandonment is my number one issue, you know that? And and you, you go silent? I really didn't think it was good timing. I mean... Timing. Timing. You didn't think it was good timing. <laughs> Speaking of, how did you move on so quickly, Dad? How'd you do that? Why is everybody keeping everything from me? Maybe because you take everything perfectly wrong, okay? Kind of like your mom, actually. You and Claire have been shitting on mom. You guys are just... Mom was fun. Mom was validating. Mom was caring. She, mom was, she was, was drunk. Mom was difficult. Mom was emotionally disturbed. You know, why are you always talking about mom now? You never stuck up for when she was alive. And it was always clear. Claire was the perfect one. She was... She wasn't exactly right either. So your mom and I were in the process of getting a divorce. What? That is so fucked up. Did Claire know about that? <sighs> so you need to stay here? I really don't want to. Yeah, I know. How'd you meet that stupid faced lady anyway? Okay, date me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you online dating? A little bit. <laughs> oh my god. I like her. Maybe I'll stick with her. Let me read your bio. So I was thinking I could take off every Wednesday and Friday, come over here and we can hash out a plan. Wow, look at you. The pens and the pencils, pretty impressive. Thank you. So what do you say? What's the next plan? Actually, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. What? Really? I mean, what about our old whiteboard? There's a lot of things on there we haven't tried yet. That's at Claire's place. In Claire's house? Well, I mean, it's hidden, but I couldn't exactly oh. grab it while I was getting kicked out of her place. So when we were in Vegas, I got a tad bit tipsy. Something just took over me. I got so curious as to why she's doing it, why she's getting married. She had some beautiful things to say. I've never felt that way about anyone. You know, the way she feels about Johnny. And if I keep going down this road, I never will. Listen, I gotta tell you something. What? Johnny slept with Ivana. Johnny slept with Ivana? Oh my God. Claire definitely doesn't know that. When, when did, it, when did it happen? I don't know, I was like super fucked up. No, you're just saying this because you want to keep scheming. Hey, do I look like I'm lying to you right now? No, you don't. But I, I, I don't want to ruin anything else. Well, then, then don't, I guess. It's just call it quits. I'll see you at the wedding. I mean, unless you want to, like, hang out anyway. What, are you going to Uber over here an hour so we can just talk? I mean, that's what I just did. Yeah, and now you have to Uber back for an hour. Yeah, you're right. That's stupid. All right. Peace. Do you like me? What? No. That's gross. That's gross, okay? Did Johnny seriously sleep with Ivana? Yes. Fuck!
Everything okay? Yeah. So are you going to Claire's for the rehearsal dinner? I don't know. Hey, Dad. Yep. Why are you and Mom getting a divorce? Really? Yeah. When I met your mom, she was a force of nature. You know, she did whatever she wanted to do, whenever she wanted to do it. And I tell you what, that really, I mean, I love that about her. As we got older, found out she didn't really know how to compromise, or give back, or be there for someone else, me. It gets old. It's, uh, it's exhausting, is what it is. So why'd you wait so long? You were in and out of the hospital, as you know. Your mom was drinking more and more, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Do you think she was trying to kill herself? I think she was She had a lot of chances to get better. She really did. I guess it just really depends on how you see your choices or how she saw her choices. issues way beyond addiction. But if I'm honest, I have that one too. I, uh, I would do anything to just numb myself and avoid feeling the, you know, the empty, empty feeling inside. Um, my sister's getting married and it... Okay, yeah. That's an appropriate reaction. Um, but for me, it's been really hard. Um, I mean, just really hard. Uh, I push people away, you know, and then wonder why, you know, why they leave me. And my mom isn't here. Can't talk to her. She uh, she she died in a car accident a few months ago. Um, drunk driving. Um, and she knew she had a problem. She knew it, but she didn't do anything to fix it. You know. So the consequence is really, it's hers because she's the one that, that, uh, that isn't here now to see Claire get married. And, uh... I guess what I'm starting to realize is, is that, um... Nobody's gonna have an intervention for me. You know, I'm the only one that can actually save myself. Um, but I don't know how. And, uh, and, and I've never been more alone in my life. Thank you for sharing. So much. You can just put it wherever. There's so much stuff. Okay. Hey, honey, can you help me You got it, Pookie.
Jack broke one. Period. What? Jeff, oh my, this is Anna. This is Anna. Art said he was hanging out with Anna. I told you, I got a DUI. I don't have a drinking problem. Yes, you do. You 100% do. I 100% do not have a drinking problem. Buddy, can I talk I to you for a second? Yeah. What's up, man? So you've been hanging out with Claire's sister? I mean, we hung out a few times. And... You know, I saw that diabolical board you and that girl got going on. What the fuck is the matter with you? <sighs> Secret plan with this shit. But do not fuck this up for Johnny. I'll never forgive you, and I won't. Hey, oh, you kid. I don't know how you do it, but you do it. I'm so proud of you. And might I say that your mother, she could be so proud of you too. Cheers. Well, I'd just like to say it's wonderful that you're a part of our family now. So once it's, again, I'd like to toast it. I'd like to make a toast. But not everyone needs to make a speech, buddy. I do. I do need to make a toast. Anyway, uh, this guy was all over Claire. And now, they're getting married. Cheers. Anyway, I guess my point is, is, uh, who cares, right? I just took my pants off because I can. Because nobody owns me. Arthur, put your goddamn pants back on. I don't have to ask anybody's permission for anything. Because I don't have anyone to ask permission from. Just, um... It's just... It doesn't fucking matter, you know? It's just... I'm helping you. What? The thing I'm practicing lately. Is he okay? Johnny, just go make sure Claire's all right. I got this. I really appreciate it. Listen, man, it's clear that you don't want to be here, so just don't. What? Don't come tomorrow. We're better off without you. Hey girls, what do you think? Is it pretty or is it a little too natural? Oh the make perfect. you look absolutely you look stunning. stunning. You like so it? beautiful. Perfectly natural. Okay, great. So beautiful. <laughs> well, I love it. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I saw your little whiteboard. Okay. Yeah, First of all, right. I'm not and doing that right. anymore. You need to keep you a lid on that today. Let me just tell you, you are fucking sick. 
You need to keep. You are sick and Oh my god, is, I'm sick. Nobody loves I'm you. I'm sick. You have a problem. Sh- keep it okay, down, Jesus Christ. I know I have a sister. Jesus Christ, I need you to stop this stuff. right now. No, no. You That's crazy so fucking, fucking bitch. You think I don't know you slept with Johnny? Excuse me? Now tell me that's not true. Ivana, tell me that's not true. I need to find Johnny. Claire! Tell me that's not true. What? Tell me that you did not sleep with her. Why do you sound like you're sleeping? What am I supposed to do now? What do you mean? You're supposed to marry me. Claire, I'm so sorry. I would never, ever, ever do anything to hurt you. Claire, I would do anything for you. I don't think it's enough. Claire. 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 Claire, wait. Claire, come on. Please let me explain. Did Anna tell you about this? Oh, somebody had to tell her, Johnny, and I am her sister. Oh, God, this isn't about you, Anna. What is your problem? Look, I know you don't like me, but I love your sister. I love her more than anything on this earth. I know a side of her that's sweet and innocent and and immature. It's a side of her that you don't even know because she's always had to be strong for you. I know I messed things up not telling you about Ivana, Claire, but that had happened way before you ever came into my life. But I'm, I'm telling you, I know I can be strong for her. I know I can. That is messy, huh? Why? Why today? Why did all this have to happen today? Anna, what do I do? Oh, okay. Well, listen, I, I, I can't sit here and pretend to tell you things about love, because I don't know. Um, but, um... I would say that no matter how hard life gets to Whatever life brings, just remember this feeling. And I think that if we remember that, then we can get through anything. Claire, you take risks. That's what you do, it's part of who you are. And it's just, it's. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm the one that gets paralyzed, not you.
so sorry. Okay, again. Okay. 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 Some makeup. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's all good. Can you just go to the back and don't do anything stupid? Yeah, you look really beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta. Jesus yeah, Christ! I gotta. Whoa. Hey, hello. See if I made it, huh? You good? Yeah. All right. You good? <laughs> Makeup. Makeup. I need you right now. She's in the bathroom. We need to get in there. She ruined everything you did this morning. It's a big job. Come on. Bye -bye. We all have our issues to work on. Oh, yeah, you have got some issues to work on, Michael. <laughs> Whoa. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was some legitimately crazy shit. I'm honest, honestly telling you this as your friend. I honestly want to help you at this moment. You need to handle that because that shit will kill you from the inside out. Like, seriously. So Rage therapy. Sorry. That was just that. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> we should we should go. Hey, do you um do you think she'll ever forgive me? With time. Maybe for today, just be silent. You did. You did that. You saved it. You saved my, my marriage. <laughs> Dad told me you got a job. How does Dad know I have a job? Checked your email. Mm. Well, that that is just fucked up. Right, so it's fucked up for Dad to check your email, but totally fine to check mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Just making sure I know the rules. <laughs> I'm about to put a rug sober. It's gonna be not that pretty. Uh, she's <laughs> 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 
You know how they always say, it's not you, it's them? You ever wonder, what if it is you? Oh, it's definitely me. I think when it comes to us, we are the problem. Yep. So what are we gonna do? I don't know. I quit drinking. What? Today? Today. <laughs> you know, I never wanted her to be unhappy. Just... Hey, you don't have to explain it to me. Thank you. Would you like to go out for coffee sometime? Coffee? I mean, I don't drink it. Oh, shit. We could get tea. That sucks. Tea? Coffee sounds great. It's not my jam. So coffee soon? Nah, let's just fuck again.